Hi guys, Matt from Fanatics here. We've got a pretty good size order today. We're going to rip through here as quick as we can. Let's see how fast I can go. I don't remember. Long time since Monday, so I don't remember what I ordered, but I know they were great. Uh, first thing up is Giant Daniels. These are oh, about an inch. Not a bad size for a small Giant Daniel. Of course, those get about three inches. Nice bit of fish for bigger fish. Uh, Horsehead Pimadillas. Got these in new for a while. We had some that have grown out a bit. These guys get up to about a foot. They're related to like a pictus cat or other beams. Uh, for a semi-aggressive tank, they do great. Uh, about 12 inches is not huge when it comes to big cats. Here, I can't even see them, but there's some Galaxy Autos in here. Got a half a dozen of them in there. Galaxy Autos or the Para Autosynchilus Herald Eye. Very nice little Nano Auto. Not tiny, but uh, small enough to go in got a bunch of crown tail bettas today, including a black orchid. Let's see if I, maybe, oh, you're not a crown tail, you're a half moon. We've got half moons and crown tails, half moons, half moons. I don't know if I'll do a video for you guys on these, or if I'll just let you come in and check them out. That's a crown and half. And that's a pacot. That one is a steel blue. Very pretty. And what are you? You're a half moon. Wow, very pretty. You know, if it's nice, I'll let you guys actually take a look. But nope, I'm just going to make you come down and look. <laughs> there we got another level of fishes. What's in the box? We have guppies. These are Japanese blue liar tails. Actually, blue this time. Sometimes you'll get these from this source, and they are all red speckled in them, but those are actually blue. Looks like it's in Paris in this case. Doesn't say it, there's some females in there, so cool. Yeah. Blue wire tail pairs. Next thing we have is a bunch of fry in there. Uh, sort of liar tail guppy. Uh, it's funny because I don't remember ordering assorted liar tail guppies, but apparently they had a bunch of fry away there coming. Take a look and see what the heck that is. Invoice. Maybe I checked the wrong box. Okay. Uh, next we have spotted splash tetras. These are hard to come by. I sold the last half a dozen that we had from the last order a while back. And super excited when I saw they come in. If they tank good, and they don't always, those are a really, really neat find. Super cool for larger school community fish. These are Neon Tetras, a ton of these guys still on the Tetra special, still two bucks a piece, 25% off if you get four or more. Stock up, you will get more. Going through about 100 a week. Right, here is some Blue Acaras, these are the electric blue version of the Blue Acara. Got a nine inch South American cichlid. They can have a bit of an attitude, but uh, overall, not a horribly aggressive nine inch fish. Super beautiful blue color. There's some small fish. Maybe spotted grass We also call it maybe a three spotted grass borer. Boris, uh, maybe it's maculatus. Maculatus, yeah. Boris, maculatus. Cousin to the chili grass a little different pattern on them. Still got the bright red when they color up. Another nano fish. These are the emerald dwarf rasboras. Emma Dwarf Rasboras and Celestial Pearl Daniels have about the same body shape. And they both do that kind of school up under the substrate and poke their heads out. But one's got bars and one's got spots. So two very cool fish for you to take. These are Cribble Heroes Longimanus, whatever that is. Don't even have a, a common name on these guys. I might look something up for you. But uh, they're a Central American cichlid, I believe. And we'll have to do a little bit of looking up to see what exactly they are. I remember I looked them up before I bought them because I was like, oh, that looks interesting. And now I forgot. So uh, here's a different one altogether. This is an Arnico Earth Eater. These are uh, Biotidoma, uh, not the Cupidos, they're the Weberani. Yeah, Weberani well, here, Weberani. Arnico Earth Eater. So they're uh, small, maybe three inch. Uh, Pseudo Earth Eater. I say Pseudo Earth Eater because they're not the Geophagus or the Centaurica. 
but uh, very nice little fish. Somewhere between an earth eater and a dwarf Next, next we have, oh, these are super cool. Haven't had these in a really long time. These are Daniel Tin Winnie or Gold Ring Daniels. Another nano fish, a smaller Daniel, about half the size of a zebra Daniel. Great for a community tank or even a nano tank. Fast, but not nippy. Really neat little Daniel. These are Corydoris trailiniatus, or you'll call them a Julie Cory. Very nice community fish. Very popular. We sell a ton of the Julie Corys. We had a huge batch, so we haven't got them in in a while. But that's a new batch. A spotted blue eye rainbow, also known as Gertrude's rainbow. Very fun. Another nano fish. These are the what they'll call a pygmy rainbow. The ones that get less than two inches. Uh, Pecotia vitata or tiger candy pleco. This is a L15. These are a nice little pleco. About a five inch striking guy. Very pretty, reasonably priced. Nice little pleco. Here are zipper coolies. Always keeping in a good stock of coolie loaches in general. Got a couple different types on this order this week. Let's see what actually showed up. I'm going to have to pause here for a second. Third time's job. Let's see. We have a mono shrimp. Came in really small. I think I paid the up price for bigger ones, and they're still really tiny. Hmm. Not sure how I feel about that, but they're a mono shrimp. They will eat your algae. And next, we have butterfly hillstream loaches. Butterfly hillstreams look very similar to a reticulated, but they're a little more dun colored. Uh, got a little bit of a spot pattern to them. Super cool little hillstream loach. Another Pecotita vitata or the Tiger L15. And then we have some pandacories. Nice. We got doubled up on pandacories this week. That's great because we've been running out. Let's see if they both show up. They both show up good. Uh, I also have those wild cotton pandacories, the, the big ones that we got last week. Those are pretty nice also. Two weeks ago. Next up we have, oh, these are Kahako sword tails or another, they're kois. Red face, white body. Look like they sent us the albinos because they're really white on that, but a uh, real nice fish. Something a little bit more exciting in the sword tail range. And a blue neon guppy. There you go. And next in the bag we have bikers. I bought a couple bikers this week. This is a Congo Green. I've had them for a while and I've kind of wanted them. Not huge, but not tiny on this guy. Very nice color on the Congo Greens. Decent size for the price. And I bought a little bigger ornate biker. We've gotten in some little ones lately. They're awful sensitive when they're tiny. We've sprung for a little bit bigger guy. Beautiful fish as they grow. One of the coolest bikers in my opinion. Uh, here's some more hill stream loaches. These are the reticulated. Everybody knows and loves the reticulated with a nice stripey pattern on them. Great for your nano tank. Great. Yeah, you can do it in a nano tank. Great for a cooler tank. They don't like heat. Here's a puffer. We got one of these last week. This is a POW ABI or ABLE. Uh, they also call them a spotted or a leopard puffer, but very different than anything else that we can get called a leopard puffer. Don't know a lot about them. I do know we sold the one we have really quick. The price on them is a little bit uh, attractive, more so than what you'd expect. So, yeah, cool fish for the price. Here is dwarf grummies. These are the royal blue dwarf grummies. Of course, they're more blue than red, royal blues. And the last bag in this box is some Roman Oaks. This is half of our Rummy Nose order for this week. A nice batch. We've been selling out of rummies every week, even though I've been double back and double order and double bag of those. Uh, you guys want rummies? And we want you to have rummies. So we just keep ordering rummies. They are on the Tetra Special. Buy four more, get 25% off. And we've been holding the price bill at just three dollars for the regular, without the special on the rummies. So at that, I guess I shouldn't be surprised that we can't keep them in stock. 
Who's this? Oh, Oscars. Albino Tiger Oscars. Bag looks a little rough, but the fish look good. Selling a lot of Oscars. I always worry. Make sure when you buy your Oscars, you have a giant tank for them. They do grow. They do grow fast. This is not an Oscar, though. These are spotted Hillstream lodges. Always come in a little bigger than the reticulates. They get about the same size, but these always come in a little bigger. Very, very nice uh, Hillstream lodge. A little darker colored than the butterflies, but spots kind of like them. That's the main spotted Hillstream lodge. Uh, here's red tail sharks. Restock on these guys. We don't stock a lot of these guys because it's oftentimes overlooked just how big and honorary they can get. But uh, if you have the right tank, they're a fun fish to have. Here's a clown knife, another giant fish. Don't forget that that is a 40 inch fish. When purchasing a clown knife, the baby, maybe five inches, maybe probably more like four, will grow and it will grow fast. Uh, another really cool oddball fish. This is a clouded archer, the true freshwater archer fish. They will school if you have a big group of them, six or more, and a big tank. But they're a six inch plus fish and they're gonna be a bit ornery with each other if you have them in too tight a space. That's why we order them one at a time. They do spit bugs right out of the air. They're really cool. Uh, Black Ghost Knife, another cool oddball. We keep a couple of these around on um, the regular. Very fun. Get about a foot. A lot more reasonable size than the uh, clown knives. If you got you know, 55 or bigger. Here is some cherry barbs. These are the albino version. We've got some regular cherry barbs over there. But the albinos have the Distinctly more red and less brown tone. Plus the albino. Here's another black ghost knife. What we have here, bought celestial pearl daniels. We've been mentioning those repeatedly. They're quintessential nano fish, spots, not stripes like the uh, emerald green reservoirs. And a very, very neat fish. And we uh, another half a box to get through here. Oh my goodness, it's a big biker. I sold my other big biker last week, so we got in this guy. This is a conju conjucus. And it's a version of an underjaw biker. There's a little different face on him, but I love the underjaw bikers, the Niles and those group. A uh, bunch of different varieties. And how many are different species, and how many of them are locations, and how many are varieties, I couldn't tell you. All of them are really cool. That's a huge, cool biker on his way to be a monster. Uh, here's something that's a bit of a score for me. These are horsemen's quarries. Kind of spendy, and I bought a whole dozen of them because I love quarries. And I keep your horsemen's hardly ever, and then somebody's going to come along and buy them, and I'm going to be sad because I don't have any. So come make me sad. Get yourself some horsemen's quarries. Here is something really cool. These are mudfish. Had a couple of them, got some more. Now we got some more. Really neat natural history. If you're in a fun read, check those guys out. Uh, a really unusual tropical fish. Uh, German blue rams, we stock these always whenever we can get them, and which is almost always. Really hard to get females on these. I don't see anything that strikes me as female in the bag. I get asked at least twice a week, can I get them female rams? If I never find that source for female rams, I will certainly let you know. But blue rams are a great bag to your smaller tank. Just keep the nitrates low. Uh, here's a barb I don't get that often. These are a rumbo barb or a snakeskin barb. Really pretty. Very sensitive to ick. You know, get it if you get any fluctuations in your temperature at all. So uh, keep those guys warm and keep them stable and they will reward you with an absolute gorgeous barb in the color. Here's something different that we've when the last time I had these. I haven't been able to get the little metallic half beaks, so I got these instead. These are the Celebes half beaks, which are actually a brackage fish. They live in your freshwater tank, but they do prefer a little bit of salt and water. Our hard water probably be enough for them. We'll put them in with, uh, we've got some dialed dragon movies over there. That's a good pairing. Here's the other half of those uh, rummy nose. First thing is guppies. Indeed, feeder guppies. More feeder guppies. That's not Peter Guppies, that's not something I ordered. These are leopard tenopoma. I wonder what I ordered that I didn't get because I wasn't expecting leopard tenopoma. So we got some really big ones of these right now. Uh, cool fish, African bushfish. Oh, those are just me. What the heck? Um, here is some 
fiddler crabs. We keep a good stock on fiddler crabs, just about always. We can use those for food, for their puffers. We should have food for them. Here's that double stock on the panda quarries I promised you. Good looking pandas there too. Some snails. Oh, these are assassin snails. It's like, wow, this is tiny. What are they? Yep, they're little tiny assassin snails. Nice colors on those. They're such a pretty snail. They will go after your rabbit snails with uh, prejudice. Make sure you do not pair those with rabbit snails. They will eat trumpet snails if there's absolutely nothing else for them to eat, but uh, they prefer flake food or anything else other than trumpet snails. Here's some more mono shrimp. And when I say tiny, that last batch looks giant compared to these. We have a double batch of the monos. We can sell lots and lots of the monos. I believe the demand on the monos has pushed the size from the suppliers down. So if we want them, we're just going to have to get them small. Um, here's some really cool swords. These are our climb. Let's see. Plums Climbstoner. Let's see if it actually does. Oh, Franz Stoffels, that's what it was, not Kleiner. It's a Franz Stoffel sword. I like the name. It's like, I just got to try it. They're a big, red stemmed, beautiful, almost a melon style sword. Nice potted guys. They have a little extras for these. That one's not the biggest one in the batch. There's some bigger ones in there. Uh, but nice, thick metals on these. Nice swords there. Uh, and then two more bags. We got red crystal shrimp. It's great on those actually. Got to love the red crystals. And then the last bag out of the box, we have theater comments. Gotta have the theaters, gotta have the shrimp, gotta have it all. And that's it for this week's order.